Hi, it's Kelly Ann. Day 52, babies. Three more pounds down. I can't believe it. I'm at 140 mommies from New Bridges. Size six. I'm rocking it out. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's talk a little bit about how the week went. Went out with some people uh, uh, last night, and you know what? I'm changing. It's hard for me to watch everybody eat bad. It's not that they're eating. I'm like, oh, you should try the brown rice because it will assist your colon and function, not the white rice. But it was taken well and, and taken with love. And then I, you know, bit my tongue on the rest of the evening because nobody wants to hear anybody preach while they're trying to eat their favorite food. <laughs> as, you know, good intentions as I might have, they don't want to hear it. I will talk a little bit about going to the grocery store. I went to this grocery for my husband, regular grocery, not health food. So I was doing pretty good because my favorite things weren't out in front of my face. But towards the end, I was getting a little more anxiety. And the Krispy Kreme, I swear, waved at me. They waved at me. But uh, I ignored them little devils and just went on with my evening. and went out to my car and had some more juice. So it was good. I want to talk a little bit about reactions and feelings I'm getting from other people. Uh, what's been really interesting is um, how people look at obese people. That particular time of my life, the most obese I was, the most out of shape, the most in pain, was when I was a workaholic at my peak, when I worked the hardest, when I gave to everybody, when I never sat down and took time for myself to rest, to rejuvenate, to nourish my own self. And so it shocks me. I mean, shocks me when people look at obese people and assume laziness. Not only shocked me, it freaked me out. So, because I'm thinking, a middle-aged woman who has a career, has children, has a home, that ever ain't lazy. She's working like a dog. She's giving, 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 giving to the point of her personal destruction. Anything but lazy. So when you see someone who's struggling, step up. Give them a helping hand. Because I'm telling you what, when they break down and start taking care of themselves, you're gonna see a flower bloom. Uh, another interesting visit I had with an old friend that had never seen me since my early 20s. Uh, they came in to my business and we were talking and I said, yeah, I'm on this like weight loss thing where I'm juicing and I'm doing this and you know, I've been doing all this health food for over the past few years. Uh, and he was like, you were fat? Because he hadn't seen me in 25 years. And it's so wonderful to see somebody that knows you when you were young, who sees your youthfulness in you again, your body, your face, your movements. Because I do get a little flack about, why are you so worried about your weight? Well, this is the person I was supposed to be. This is the healthy, strong person I'm ready to be. I need to talk a little bit about my long-term goal. In 02, I married my husband. My top weight was 230. I am 90 pounds smaller than that right now. 10 more pounds and it's gonna be a 100 pound weight loss in menopause, babies. Looking really forward to that. So, but my point is, I've made permanent mental changes. Permanent mental changes that are really coming home during this juice feast. When I look at food now and I'm sitting at a table full of people eating, I'm not feeling pity for them, but I feel uninterested in having that myself. I'm thinking, oh, they should try the steamed vegetable. Oh, they should try the green salad. Or what about the fruit cup? You know, because I want them to feel the elation of having vital health and energy and the pain is gone. And you feel so young and beautiful. And I just feel that this has made a permanent mental change of never wanting to go back. I appreciate your comments so much, so please feel free to post them below so that I can respond. They mean so much to me. Thank you.